Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at an Amazon Basics Shredder. Alright, so let's find out if this kind of shredder is right for you. So if you need a shredder, this might be a good one here because this is something that an average office can use. So it takes a maximum of six sheets, which is pretty reasonable. And also it chews up larger things like cards and maybe other similar thickness of items right here in the middle. So if you have a home office or a small office that you know you're not constantly grinding paper, this is a great choice. So so we've had ours for a few years and it's been working great ever since with no issues whatsoever. So let's take a look at the control here. So we have auto, off, and reverse. If you put it on auto, what's going to happen is, you know, it's got like a little sensor. Once you put your sheet in there, it'll automatically start grinding it. So that is the only option is the auto, obviously. So, but if you do get jammed or whatever, you could, you know, hit it in reverse to uh, try to spew it back out. As long as we don't put more than six sheets, it seems to do fine, but sometimes with six sheets that are thicker, you know, it'll start crinkling and it might get stuck then. So sometimes it's better just to put like four and it always do great. So if you do have children though, you know, you might want to turn it off once in a while here. There's no way to lock it from working. So, you know, you kind of have to monitor that, but, but on auto, it seems to do very well. And you know, it's convenient. You don't have to ever turn it on. You just stick stuff in there and it just grinds it up. So here in a second, we'll see what kind of uh, cut it has. And uh, also this bucket here is almost four gallons. So it's a pretty good storage overall. So you should be able to, you know, grind quite a few papers before you have to empty it out. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of this thing. So this top piece just lays like that. And so it's as simple as just grabbing it out. It is quite heavy, this piece right here. And you will see why in a second. So here you see all the knives here and they all looks like pretty heavy duty. So this is not some cheap, cheap shredder. This is actually a pretty good heavy duty shredder that seems like would last for years. So here is some of the specs here. And also guys, you can kind of tell the size of the paper. So you do have a fixed power plug. Looks like about a four foot reach. So here on the back of this, the way this thing knows, because it won't work unless it's on the bucket, there's a little button right there that it pushes whenever it locks into the bucket or something. All right, so let's put this thing back in the bucket and see if we can shred some stuff. All right guys, so we're on off right now. We're gonna go ahead and click it to Alta. So now this thing should be live and ready to go. So let's go ahead and start with something simple. A piece of mail here that just comes in. And uh, you know, there's probably a good six sheets or so in here but let's just say you know you want to get rid of something like this as you can see guys not an issue so and you, as you saw it turned on automatically and then turned off once it was done all right guys so next we have a costco little thing so this thing is quite a bit thicker and has a bunch of pages actually i don't know if it's going to handle this but out of curiosity let's just see what happens with this thing and actually i'm thinking that maybe i should fold it in half that would make more sense because it'll still fit in there just like this all right so let's go ahead and see what happens yeah it's kind of going in cricket but it's still taking it yeah you might have heard it that you know it's kind of struggling just a little bit so that's you know that's a lot of stuff to grind there or should I say shred? And as also you can hear, guys, it's not all that quiet. It's it's not crazy loud, but it's definitely got a you know noise to it. So you guys might be getting these a lot. These are offers for credit cards. You know they want you to keep opening those credit cards. Well, we're gonna go ahead and put them in the shredder. And there you go. No more temptation. Now you don't have to sign up for that new credit card. You got bills you need to pay? <laughs> you don't need these either. So this is a pretty large one with, you know, some good amount of paper inside. Yeah, it's having a hard time. It's barely moving. It's about to get stuck. Oh. 
Okay, that was barely, guys. That was barely going. That was a hard one for it. But as you can see, so far I'm putting things in there that just, you know, I'm not like taking an account of this six sheet maximum. You know, we had we had much more than six sheets. I mean, obviously they're thinner than the normal piece of paper, some of them. But still, this thing is doing very well, as you can see. All right, guys, so here we have exactly six sheets that are, we're gonna put in here, and this is the average paper sheets. So, you know, this is gonna be exactly what the maximum is. Let's see how well it does it with the uh, just the six sheets, like it says it can do. Now look at that. As you can see, the six sheets was not an issue at all for this thing. It was a breeze, actually. So I would say it could probably handle up to eight sheets. But, you know, maybe six sheets is totally fine to constantly just stick in there. So as you can see, this thing over delivers pretty well. All right, guys, so here we have a little commercial that came in, and it's pretty thick. It's like a thicker card here, and it's double. So let's see what happens to this guy. Okay. That was super easy for it. Did not expect that. All right, well, if that was super easy, let's go with this one. It's basically also thick or even thicker, it looks like. Very thick, actually. And uh, it's doubled up and it's large. So let's see how it does with this one. <laughs> also not an issue at all. All right, so as you can tell, guys, this thing does very well. If you need a good shredder around the house or a small office, this is a great one. All right, last but not least, we're going to see if we can get it stuck, which I have a feeling it'll still make it, but there's quite a few papers here or sheets here. And, you know, it's pretty thick overall. But let's see how it does with this. All right, well, that's all I have for this thing to shred. I honestly thought in the beginning when I was, you know, finding things to shred that some of that stuff will jam it. So it looks like one of those big letters that had a bunch of papers in it was the only challenge and it still made it. It was slowing down, but that was a little bit tough for it, but it has not stopped on us. So, so as long as you don't throw anything ridiculous at it, it looks like it could pretty much munch on anything. All right, guys, so I was not able to find an actual card to put in here, but I do have some coupon cards here that have expired and they're reasonably thick. They're not as thick as a card would be probably, but so let's go ahead and put them in there and see what happens. Okay, yeah, that was not even a challenge. So a credit card would, would not be an issue. You can grind credit cards on this thing all day long. So, and I'm feeling the motor over here. It's slight, like not even warm, like barely there's something warm there. So it doesn't even heat up much though. Pretty cool. Let's open it up and see what kind of little shreddings we have in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off here. Let's open it up. So as you can see the back here where the blades are is relatively clean. And here are the shreddings. And as you can see guys, this is their sizes. So they're not tiny, you know, but they're a pretty good size. And actually, you guys could probably use this if you wanted to for stuffing stuff or whatever, anything else. So not only did you get rid of your mail that you didn't want, now you could technically be creative and do some of these if you wanted to. And also, guys, as a tip, you know, if you want to fit more stuff in this bucket, you know, once it gets kind of full, you can just put your hand in there and push them down and you would grind quite a bit more before you had to you know, empty this completely, so. So overall, thumbs up for this thing. All right, guys, if you're interested in a shredder like this, I'll leave some links in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And also, guys, go check out my other videos on this channel. And if you're not subscribed and you wanna see more videos, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.